It's happening. Buhari told to declare Maitiala a terrorist group. The United States of America. Hello, my wonderful people. I don't know what you are waiting for. Maybe they want the heavens to come down before they will speak. You know, Buhari and his brothers knows exactly what they are doing to Nigerians. He declared uh, the IPOB for, the, for crying out for section. He declared them a terrorist group. They did not kill anybody. They were not killing anybody. They were not causing. All they were doing was protecting their territory and asking that, you know, they want their own, uh, I mean, asking for self-determination, which itself is not a crime in Nigerians' constitution. It's there that people have right to self-determination. Anyway, Maiti Allah have been killing, destroying, and committing all forms of atrocities, yet they are called businessmen, according to your very own brother, Joe Ibikwe. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you. Buhari told to declare Maiti Allah as a terrorist group. The United States of, Amer of America, chapter of the National Democratic Coalition, has told the president of Nigeria to, without further delay, declare the Maiti Allah Breeder Cattle Association as a terrorist organization. According to the group, the Fulani group had, in their past statement, claimed responsibility for some deadly attack, such as the attempted assassination on Governor Samuel Otom of Benway State and some other killings. The um, United States American group also positioned take position was contained in a statement made available to the media by its office official on Sunday where it alleged that the mighty Allah has been involved in banditry in the northern part of the country. Wondering why the Nigerian government, President Muhammad Buhari, has refused to take any decisive action, decision against this group. The statement reads, the United States has called for Buhari's administration to immediately declare Maiti Allah as a terrorist organization. Maiti Allah has mostly been responsible for the killing and slaughtering of innocent people in the Middle Belt region of Nigeria, Southeast, Southwest, and South South. Maiti Allah has openly admitted some this some of these killings, including an attempt on the life of a sitting governor of Benway State, Samuel Otom. The federal government never uttered a statement a word of condolence for their criminal enterprise disguised as Cattle Breeder Association. Maiti Allah has been necked deep in banditry in the northern part of the country without any reciprocal repel from the government. This means that Buhari's administration associates and is even a state of is even in a state of sponsor of this very group. Given a distance definition of terrorism, the group said that Maiti Allah falls into the classification of a terrorist organization, but wonders why the current administration will rather declare indigenous people of Biafra IPOB as a terrorist organization, accusing governor, the government of double standard. Maiti Allah has terrorized the northern part as it terrorized the northern part of the country, the southern part, and is mostly with people who wants their interest to be felt at all points. If Nigerian government fail or refuse to formally declare Maiti Allah as a terrorist organization, then the Nigerian people shall call on the international community to formally declare Buhari's administration as a state of sponsor, as a state that sponsors terrorism in the country. Finally, the international community is hereby put on, on notice that the declaration of Maiti Allah, a popular cattle breeder association, as a terrorist organization by Nigerian government, apprehend on holding account or accountable to his leadership it's a minimum requirement for the government to stand up to the very corruption and evil they said they are fighting onandi kanu ipob leader is declared a terrorist for crying out for sectionist groups since 2017 why buhari calls his own breeder a mighty Allah breeder association just bandits so this is what is happening, and uh, Buhari has been told the truth. Declare these people the name of who they really are. 
you better do it now or you will have yourself to blame. The truth of the matter is Buhari is really playing games with everybody, honestly so to say. Buhari is seriously playing, playing games with Nigerians, playing games with everybody because this man knows very well that, you know, to a large extent, he's just, he just you know, taking, taking things, you know, the way he wants to do it, pretending like, you know, and there, nothing can happen and what have you. But the truth of the matter is he has forgotten that the, the minute you stop you stop telling the truth the minute you start you know people start seeing you as the evil doer you've forgotten that you have lost your position totally completely and you are no longer a force to reckon with of course Buhari knows that even in the international front already Nigeria is already losing a lot of ground because of its association with this very terrorist group Nigeria has become a laughing stock she used to be the giant of Africa but today do you want to compare Nigeria and South Africa no, no, you can't compare. You can't just go straight into South Africa like you can stray into other African countries. It's not, it's not, it's not business as usual. Nobody will take that from you. You can't just do that, you know, because of how Buhari has spoiled things. This man came on the back telling Nigerians that, wow, he's going to do ABCDZ. Nigerians were so excited, you know, and we're looking forward to the change and transformation. Everybody was excited in 2015. When you hear the manifest, First of all, you feel that, wow, well, what have we been waiting for? Oh, here comes the solution. The people that truly understand what Nigeria has been going through. Oh, victory at last, my dear. Hmm. It, was a, it was a beautiful car with no engine. You know, a beautiful car. Just imagine a very, which car should we say now? A proud, which car should we say now? Bentley. Eh? Looked, I mean, with the, with the two exhaust bomb part of, I mean, if you see everything, you're like, wow, finally I have this car. Guess what? Put in the key and you even discover that the car does not have engine, no engine. Not talk of saying a fuel can miss, no engine for the car. Now so the Buhari government be no engine whatsoever. Nigerians enter the car and say, ah, 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 now one chance, so no engine, no, they cannot they go anywhere. Oh, this is what has happened to the country called Nigeria. And a lot of people are saying, How did we get here? How will they make this mistake? My dear. You know, they say once beaten, twice shy. I believe that Nigerians have learned a serious lesson. Never again, never again. I say never again will we read it. Will you, will you, will you judge a book by the cover? You just see the book and say, this book will be very interesting. And they say, pick, you just post, you just pick that one, my dear. I say, you go day day. I say, if you are lucky, it might turn out to be what if not. So the thing is, it takes time to study. Do you want to just read the preview? Just understand what it's all about before you just jump into conclusion? leave us a comment we really love to hear from you please don't forget to like us share subscribe click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news god bless bye for now